What's interesting, though, out of CPAC is that Trump got 69% of the grassroots poll, whereas Ron DeSantis only got 24%, which is down from the 28% that he had in last year's um, uh, CPAC. So uh, let me tell you how I interpret that. Now, I've said over and over again, I've said publicly that, that like Trump, I, I get it. I, I, I understand why there's this passion to get Trump back in office. But but Trump, you have to, if you want to complain about Joe Biden's age, you got to talk about tr- Donald Trump's age too. Why are we continually putting these octogenarians in office? Uh, and no, Trump's not eighty yet, but he's getting there. He's getting there. So um, yes, he seems to have more cognitive <laughs> abilities and more energy than Joe Biden does. But but again, let's be fair on this thing. If if one's going to be true, the other's got to be true too. If Joe's too old, then Don's got to be too old. That's just the way I see it. Now, do I think we'd be a thousand times better off with Donald Trump in office versus Joe Biden or Gavin Newsom or cackling Kamala Harris or anybody else that the Democrats are going to throw up there, whether it's a Pete Buttigieg or whoever it's going to be? Yes, I think Donald Trump way outweighs the woke. Okay, so I am going to go with that. But I do wish that we could bring some new blood and some new life in there. Now, the people keep talking about Ron DeSantis. I've talked about Ron DeSantis running in 24, too. Here's the issue nobody thinks about. Outside of the state of Florida, Ron DeSantis not, does not have great name recognition. Now, those of us, you and I, we keep up with politics and cultural trends and what's going on in society. We pay attention to the buzzwords and the names that are popping up in in you know, in political culture across the landscape of America. But we know who, and we know who Ron DeSantis is, but by and large, the average conservative or, or Republican voter, they don't know who he is. They, they're not, they don't, because they don't sit down at the buffet in the hotel at breakfast, you know, in random city USA and start talking politics and what's being said and what's being done. They don't do that. They, they have an actual life. It's boring people like us that, that get off on this stuff. It's true. So uh, people don't know who Ron DeSantis is. They know who Donald Trump is. They know who Trump is. They, they know his celebrity. They, look, a guy like Trump, believe it or not, a guy like Trump, and let me remind you, when it comes to getting elected, it's all about name recognition. It's all about name recognition. Donald Trump, when he ran 2016, had 90% name recognition. That's off the charts. But, I mean, believe it or not, that means there's 10% of the people out there that didn't know who Donald Trump was, which that's astounding to me. That's astounding to me that you're just not aware of what's going on with you uh, in popular culture and society around you. But uh, he had 90% name recognition. So that in and of itself is a huge, huge deal. But now, here's the point I want to make. What I see conservatives doing right now is they're, they're basically saying, you, you, know how, you know how people didn't vote for Joe Biden, they just voted against Donald Trump, yeah. and we got Joe Biden? Uh, here's, here's the opposite is what's happening here. Basically, they're saying we so badly want to shove Trump up your ass that that's who we're going to put back in office because we know you hate him. Like you lefty, wild-eyed, re-re progressive protesters out there burning stuff in the street. You guys have called us racist, homophobic, xenophobic, misogynistic bigots. You've, you've, you've called us Nazis. You've called us supremacists, nationalists, all these different things, KKK members. You, you've called us all these different things. I put out a tweet the other day where I said, Ron DeSantis is what real leadership looks like. I don't know, 21,000 people reacted to it. The comments were astounding. Everybody said, oh, that's what Hitler looks like. That's what Mao looks like. That's what, that's what Mussolini looks like. Um, and that's what Stalin looks like. He looks great for a fascist. He looks great for a Nazi. He looks great for a guy who's going to put people on train cars. I'm like, what reality are you guys living in? Where are you, where are you coming from?